Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT and I'm gonna show you seven prompts that can help you learn anything. And I mean any skill, anything you wanna learn, ChatGPT can help you. I've got seven prompts, let's go through them. I'm gonna go through them sequentially and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna read them to you and then I'm gonna execute on it and then we'll go through the results. So I've gone ahead and copy and pasted in the first one and you'll see here, generate a list of specific and actionable steps that a student can take to improve their performance in subject or task. Now, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and select Photoshop um, because I know Photoshop quite well, so I'll know if GPT is uh, giving me a BS answer. So I'm gonna hit enter on that. I'm gonna let it write its thing. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna take a look at what we got. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and given us 15 ideas and 15 things or actionable steps that we can go uh, and take a look at. So setting clear goals, learning the basics, online tutorials, practicing daily, all of these are kind of generic and you know, to some degree they're sort of platitudes, just stuff you'd expect it to say. But here's where it gets interesting. Let's take number one, set clear goals. Okay, determine what you, what you want to accomplish. And then, okay, let's go with, okay, Ex, um, expand on one. Give me examples and be as detailed as possible. Something like that. Now watch this. All right, great. So you'll see here that instead of just getting the generic answers, I can actually go ahead and type in that prompt there, which was uh, expand on number one, give me examples and be as detailed as possible we can go right into it. So it's given us, it's broken it up into photo editing and retouching, graphic design, digital painting and illustration, and then it broke it down into multiple tasks. So that is an example of a prompt that works and then there's just a follow on prompt um, and then bang, we're in business. So let's go ahead and look at the second prompt. I'm gonna copy and paste it in. Identify the 20% of topic or skill that will yield 80% of the desired results and provide a focused learning plan to master it. This one we're asking a little more, we're asking for a learning plan, and we're also adhering to the, what's called the Pareto Principle, which you've probably heard about, um, where you know 80% of results come from 20% of the effort. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Photoshop, and this one I'm gonna be going a little bit more specific, graphic design. We're gonna pick number two there. I'm gonna hit enter and when it's done, we're gonna come back and see how good this is. All right, welcome back. So it has even noted that when I said Pareto Principle, it actually said, yes, this is the Pareto Principle known as the 80-20 rule. And you know what? Hey, cool, <laughs> uh, GPT's on the ball here. So here we go. It's given us now a basically a lesson plan or a learning plan. Understand the interface and workspace and it gives you the two subtasks, master layers and layer management, grasp, grasp selection techniques, type topography, fundamentals, et cetera, et cetera. If you're still like, okay, this sounds great, and you want to dig in and say, okay, well, what about compositing and blend modes? You can, Remember, you can always say, expand on, and then in this case, I'll go number nine, and watch this. It's gonna go ahead and give me a better uh, description or a better uh, format here of number nine. I'll, I'll come back when it's done. All right, so it's cooked it up and here we go. It says nine, compositing and blending modes. And then it breaks it down into compositing and then it chops it into five different parts. And then it talks about blending modes and all the different tools and techniques, things that you can always dig into and go a little further. So we'll go over another uh, technique for that in a second here, but I'm gonna show you the third prompt. And here it is, teach me the topic of your choice and give me a quiz at the end but don't give me the answers and then tell me if I answered correctly. So not only are we gonna get it to teach us, we're going to get it to quiz us. Now the topic, instead of something generic like Photoshop, I'm gonna go Photoshop and then I'm gonna go blending modes. So I'm gonna choose something that we've uh, that was covered up here. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna hit enter and when it's done, I'm gonna show you what it came up with. All right, welcome back. So here we go. We went a little bit deeper into blending modes and look at this. I've read the answer and it is fantastic. It has, it talks about the darkening modes, which are darken, multiply, and color burn, and the differences between them, the lighten modes, the contrast modes, the comparative modes, and the component modes. The, the blending modes in Photoshop are not straightforward, especially to new people, and this goes into great detail explaining them. So 
kudos to ChatGPT for this. Then after that, it gives us a quiz. So question one, this blending mode multiplies the base color by the blend color, creating a darker result. So I would go up here and I'd be like, okay, base color, blend color. Okay, that's the darken mode. So it gave us a quiz. Now this is great for Photoshop, but if this was a quiz on Macbeth, for example, it would be doing the same thing. Who's the king in Macbeth? Duncan, you know, Oswald, etc, etc. So here we go. Let's get into the next one. All right, welcome back. So here we go. And the next one, it's this. It's explain topic in question or subject. So in this case, I'm going Photoshop blending modes in the simplest terms possible as if teaching to a complete beginner. Identify gaps in my understanding and suggest resources to fill them. I'm going to hit enter and come back when this is done and I'll show you the results. All right, welcome back. So it wrote us up some more stuff here and you'll see here it says uh, in the simplest terms, so like Eli 5, Photoshop blending modes determine how the colors of one layer interact with the colors of the layers beneath it. Then it breaks it down into the five different types, dark and light and contrast. And then it gives us access or suggestions for external resources. Always keeping in mind that if we want to expand on it, so for example, if it says on online courses like Skillshare, Udemy, LinkedIn, you can always just go give me examples of uh, number three. Give me examples for number three and then hit enter and bang, it's gonna go ahead and give us actual courses or suggestions for online resources that we can look at. I'm gonna run it here, come back when it's done. All right, welcome back. So I actually made a small mistake there. I put number three in there, but you'll notice up here, there's actually two number threes. There's number three, which is contrast modes, and then number three, which is online courses. So what I should have said is, give me exa uh, examples of online courses, because when there's two numbers, it usually selects the first one. So I'm gonna hit that and then come back in my bad. All right, welcome back. So there we go. We dug a little deeper in here and it gave us five really high end courses. And for the record, I have access to four of them. And these are excellent professors, not or teachers. They're not like, you know, okay professors or teachers or whatever you want to call them. They're awesome. All five of them, um, especially uh, Carl's Marcel and uh, I would go with Julianne Cost. Anyways, that's another example. Let's do a final example or final thing here. All right, so another one that I want to show you is this here. Design a deliberate practice routine for topic or skill, focusing on my weaknesses and providing regular feedback for improvement. So I'm going to go, in this case, I'm going to go for Photoshop. It doesn't have to be too focused on this one because, again, um, let's just go routine for Photoshop. Mm, uh, yeah, let's just go with for Photoshop, focusing on my weaknesses and providing regular feedback for improvement. I'm going to hit enter, come back when it's done. All right, excellent. So we've gone ahead and done that, and it's given us deliberate, it told us what deliberate practice is, and it's a systematic approach to mastering a skill, et cetera, et cetera. And then it gave us some ideas. Assess your skills, set goals, allocate dedicated practice time. If I wanted it to give it a schedule, please create a schedule for me. I am free Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 9 to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I want to train at least six hours per week. Hit enter. It will give me a schedule. I'll come back when it's done. Check this out. There we go. So I come back here and it's given us an idea of an example of training. So 9 to 9.15, review your goals. 9.15 to 11.15, focus practice. Take a break following along with a tutorial, course, a lesson, lunch break. This is quite a bit of practice, a little more than I would probably sign up for, but it's just an example and you can always dial this in. But if you follow these prompts in this order or a similar order, you're going to be able to learn anything and you'll be able to get that all through chat GPT. Thank you for watching.